I'm about to ship some prints. So I thought I'd show you guys my process since um, shipping is actually one of my favorite parts, like actually packaging the art and printing the label and all of that stuff. So I thought I would show you. Today I'm shipping um, 111 by 14 Why Don't You Love Me print. And hold on. 16 by 20 inch Nas print. So um, if you look on my website, you see 16 by 20 and you're wondering about how big that is. This is a 16 by 20. And this is 11 by 14. So, you know, obviously <laughs> the first step is printing a shipping label. Well, I don't know if that's obvious, but <laughs> let me get this. This is what I do. So let me just log into my website. Okay, yeah, so I received an order from blah blah blah. You don't need to know all that. Um, so I'm just going to print this person's order. So now that I have this printed out, I like to write a little message um on the order i write a personal message thanking um the customer for supporting my art because you know i really take i really take that um to heart you know people spend a lot of money um on my art and the fact that they're willing to do that means so much to me so i want to make sure that they know how much i appreciate it so i gotta find my pen Got my pen. Once I get that done, fold it up. Fold it again. And normally I would attach my business card to this. But because I'm in the process of getting new business cards made with a whole with you know all new information, I'm not gonna do that today. Um so yeah, that's that have to package the print. So I use tubes, these skinny tubes to ship in. So I'm rolling it in as tight as tightly as I can without bending it. Actually I need to go get some tape. <laughs> I should have got my tape in my hand first before I started doing this. Tape. I'm gonna roll this one slightly bigger so I can put the small one inside of this one. like saran wrap kind of thing, but it's for packaging stuff so I'm pretty sure you know using saran wrap wouldn't be a problem though but so I'm gonna do it the other way there so that nothing gets like even if the so nothing so no water or anything could possibly get on the inside of that and then put 
put this in here. Um, put a cap. Oh my god, I, I struggle with this. <laughs> it's so hard. Why did I make this so hard? Why? Oh my god. This is gonna take me five years. Y'all can just like go take a bathroom break. <sighs> Finally. At least you know it's tight and secure so I ain't let the ball out. Um, put the order in. Oh, the yeah, order. Let's see a lot of the top. And even though it's nice and tight and secure, I like to just go around it with some tape just to make sure. Take a piece of tape like this and kind of wrap it around in a circle like so. And then just fold it in on the side. So that's how that works. Packaging is so fun, guys. As long as you have shipping materials, if you don't, and you're just scrambling around for those, then it's not fun. Okay, so now it is entirely packaged. And all we have to do is print the shipping label. Now I got my shipping label. I cut that out, obviously. Tape it around like this That's now at the bottom of the label is a tracking number so I like to go back into um my website and i click mark as shipped and i enter a tracking number so that the customer will be able to follow it once i head out to the post office because whenever i print the label i'm leaving for the post office right then and now the order is complete so now all i have to do is go to the post office and ship it to them um for my labels i use um track and ship on the U.S. Postal Service website, USPS.com. So I can just print it at home and when I go into the post office, it's already paid for and everything. I just give them the package. And they wait and everything and they give me my receipt. Make sure that if you are doing that, like I am, that you choose what day that you're going to ship. If it's a Friday but you're not, you know, shipping it till the next day, you have to make sure you change the date to Saturday's date or else you're gonna have to get another label, but you can get a refund for the label you already printed But you know, just make life easier What's up everybody if you tuned in make sure you check the description box for links to where I order my shipping supplies from Keep in mind that there are many alternative materials you can use to package your art Just find whatever works for you. The important thing is to make sure you complete all the steps. So thanks for watching. Take care